good afternoon. 17th of January, I think, Saturday, uh, down here in sunny Victor Harbour, South Australia. And I finally got around to something I promised a little while ago, a complete strip out of my first aquaponics system. Nearly complete. But I'll tack this on to the end of uh, the last update. And as you can see, I've stripped virtually everything out. Apart from the bit coriander, which is coming nice and ripe, there's a couple of tomatoes. I've relocated uh, broccoli that I've been using for the leaves. There's a couple of calendula still in there. And I've actually discovered some tomato vines, and they were just looped around the base of everything. They hadn't really grown up. Um, that an oregano was, I've left in, because that's in flower now. Quite very happy indeed. And that's just gently draped over the front. And I just pick those leaves too. The volunteer sunflower has now gone to seed. So I'm going to put a paper bag off that on top of that to stop the birds nicking the seeds before I can have them myself. I should have quite a few lettuce that have self seeded from the four or five I planted. And I've left one here so that it can. Uh, some more seed. So a few more tomato vines. I've just hung them up so they can grow a bit better. Celery at the back. I'm going to see how that goes. But uh, it's just got a lot of green on it. I might try and blanch it. I don't know yet. And I've replanted a few of the beetroot again for the leaves. But the first two beds are virtually empty now, or three beds even. Volunteer tomato, don't know what it is, but it should be okay. Now this is what I got out. A nice load of coriander for seed. That's dried and ready to harvest. But some food for the worms, lots of dead leaves and stuff like that. Food for the chooks, a lot of green. And some brassica seeds. I think they're a, a mixture of kale and uh, broccoli again, but good of variety. A couple of nice little surprise onions, so I don't know where they came from. And talking of surprises, I had a visitor last night and I caught him. Say hello to Ratty. I'm not going to kill it, I'm going to relocate it a couple of k's away. I don't really want to kill them straight off. Although I also had a, found a brown snake albeit a small one in the same area. And guess what they eat? Rats. But, uh, he's got a bit of meat to chew on in there while, while I decide where to put him. So, that area is now stripped out and I've got a few packets of seed ready to go in. Hello again. Right, um, it's a couple of hours later and I've actually planted out the first two or three bays of the aquaponic system with uh, a load of capsicums, some melons, I'm hoping they're melons anyway because they weren't labelled, and I'll let them just drape down and let them flow around. More capsicums, some recovered basil, my wife bought a bunch from Woolies and I uh, stuck the remnants in a glass of water and they sprouted roots within a few weeks. Now, this, I've no idea what it was. It's an aromatic and very hot leaf. Just a, like a pointed, almost a, almost a lemon citrusy type smell. But um, again, that was at our local grow free swap, veggie swap site. And I've uh, just popped that in some water and it had a very root, root, healthy root stock. So that's gone in the aquaponics. Hung everything else up that way. So this is all as it was. However, I've also done a quick relocate of virtually everything in my greenhouse. 
Come for a walk, why don't you? My greenhouse was chock a block a wee while ago, but I'm going to be deconstructing it and moving it up to in front of my bee yard and then putting the woodshed here. So, not a lot left in there. They did have a nice happening. I've got flowers on my golden fruit of the Andes plant. I think I've had it for a year and this is a it still hasn't really grown much at all in the greenhouse, so it's now out of the greenhouse in its own little wicking bed, along with a couple of tomatoes and some uh, Thai basil, which is very tasty. Rockets basically erupted over the last week. Tomatoes are very healthy down here. Further up the line, they've wilted a bit, and I'm not happy with that. They've gone wilted from the bottom up with fruit on. I don't know what's going on there at all. They've got plenty of food, the feet are maybe a bit too wet, but other than that, right. Eggplants, aubergines, they've got nice big flowers on, they're very healthy. Got a flower coming on my purple sunflower. And a few sunflowers at the back that have taken off nicely. Corn hasn't really done much. I mean, this is second generation recovered corn from the chook feed. Last year was great, but they're virtually inedible unless you ground them down. So I've got a bit of space in some of the wicking beds anyway. And more space to put more wicking beds right the way along here. Well, I've got a couple of baths I can use as well. Right. That's that update done. I'll leave it at that definitely this time. It's the 17th of January 2015, down here in lovely sunny Victor Harbour. Blue skies. Nice gentle breeze. Ooh, looking forward to uh, any flowers on the dragon fruit though. Now that I've um, dug it out of what was a big, virtually feral, uh, passion fruit, which has just done nothing. So, it must be a male. Thanks for that. Bye bye.